This video will walk you through how to import new students and teachers and roster them to new or existing classes as an administrator. If you are wanting to update existing user information or assign existing users to classes, refer to the Update Existing Users and Class Rosters tutorial linked below. These steps should only be completed by manual rostering districts unless otherwise advised. If you are unsure of your Access Service type, refer to the Access Service Descriptions article. Once you have signed into your account, you may land on your teacher role if you have multiple roles assigned and you will need to switch over to your administrator role. From the Open Learning platform, click on your Profile button at the top right of the screen and select Administrator from the drop menu. If you land on the Connect Ed platform, you will want to click on the Admin Tools button at the top of the page. From your Admin Tools page, click on the Profile drop menu and select the correct organization. If you are an organization administrator assigned at the district level, you will want to select the district from the organization section on the menu. If you are a school administrator assigned to multiple schools, you will want to select the school you want to complete the import for. Keep in mind, the process of adding students, teachers, and classes through the Import Users Rosters tool is school-specific. Click on Import Users Rosters from the navigation menu. If you selected the district from under Organizations on your Profile drop menu, select the school from the drop menu on the Import Users Rosters page you want to complete the import for. To ensure you are not creating duplicate student and teacher accounts, we recommend using the Export Teachers and Students option. Select the desired file format for your template. You have the option of downloading a blank template. We recommend only using this option if you are positive that students and or teachers do not have an account created. In the downloaded template file, enter the user ID, role, first name, last name, grade level, email, username, and password for each new teacher or student. Review the Import Users Rosters template instructions for a detailed explanation of each field. Keep in mind, any passwords that are entered into the import for new students and teachers will not show in the file once it has been imported. You will want to keep the list available as you will want to provide the user information to the teachers to distribute to students. The system will auto-generate a username and temporary password for each user if you leave these fields blank. For new users, the user GUID will be auto-generated by the system, so leave this field blank. Do not make changes to any existing user GUIDs on the file. If you are wanting to upload the new users without adding them to new or existing classes, you will then want to navigate to the Upload Template portion towards the end of the video. Next, we'll go over adding the users to existing classes. Back on the Import Users Rosters page, click on the Preferred File option under Export Class List. This file will list all classes that are currently active for the selected school. Copy the class GUID, class ID, class name, class grade level, class start date, and class end date from the class export file for the class you want to roster. Paste the copied information into your user template for the primary teacher and all the students who should be rostered to that class. Do not make changes to the class GUID as changes will prevent students from being assigned to the class. If the class ID is blank, you will need to enter one for each class. Every different class will need to have their own class ID. If a teacher is teaching multiple classes for the same product, or if they teach multiple classes with different products, refer to the How to Assign Multiple Core Products to a Class article for options. If you are wanting to upload the file at this time, you will then want to navigate to the Upload Template portion towards the end of the video. Next, we'll go over adding the users to new classes. From your teacher and student export template, enter a class ID, class name, class grade level, class start date, class end date, and the master code for each student and teacher needing access to that class. The class GUID will be created by the system automatically for new classes, so leave this blank. For a detailed explanation of each field, review the Import Users Rosters template instructions. In the Master Code column, enter the Teacher Edition Master Code for the teacher only and add the student edition master code for each student needing access to that program. For steps on finding the master codes needed, refer to the Admin Tools Managed Products article. In addition to entering the master code, some content requires a resource code to be entered into the import to ensure students are assigned to the proper course, such as Alex and Redbird. This is a four-character code in addition to the 16-character master code. For additional information on locating the resource codes, refer to the Admin Tools Managed Products article. 
For the class ID, you will need to enter one for each class. Every different class will need to have their own class ID. If a teacher is teaching multiple classes for the same product, or if they teach classes with different products, refer to the How to Assign Multiple Core Products to a Class article for options. If you are wanting to upload the file at this time, you will then want to navigate to the Upload Template portion towards the end of the video. You have the option to create new classes without rostering students to those classes, allowing teachers to manually roster the students. However, to do so, you have to roster a teacher to each class. From the Import Users Rosters page, download the desired file format for the blank template. If you are wanting to create classes for teachers that have existing accounts, you will also need to download the desired file format for Export Teachers and Students. On the Export Teachers and Students file, copy the User GeoID, User ID, Role, First Name, Last Name, Grade Level, Email, Username, and Password fields for the teacher you want to create the class for. On your blank template, paste the teacher's information into the appropriate fields. If the teacher needs multiple classes created, you will need to paste the teacher's information into a new row for each class. Enter the class ID, class name, class grade level, class start date, class end date, and master code for each teacher row. The class GUID will auto-generate by the system when the class is created, so leave this field blank. For the class ID, you will need to enter one for each class. Every different class will need to have their own class ID. In the Master Code column, enter the Teacher Edition Master Code. The Student Edition Master Code will automatically be added to the teacher's account. For steps on finding the master codes needed, refer to the Admin Tools Manage Products article. In addition to entering the master code, some content requires a resource code to be entered into the import to ensure students are assigned to the proper course, such as Alex and Redbird. This is a four-character code in addition to the 16-character master code. For additional information on locating the resource codes, refer to the Admin Tools Manage Products article. For teachers that do not yet have an account created, you can create them at the same time as creating their classes. From the Import Users Rosters page, download the desired file format for the blank template. On your blank template, enter each teacher's user ID, role, first name, last name, grade level, email, username, and password that you want to create a class for. The user GUID will auto-generate by the system when the class is created, so leave this field blank. If the teacher needs multiple classes created, you will need to paste the teacher's information into a new row for each class. Enter the class ID, class name, class grade level, class start date, class end date, and master code for each class you want to create. The class GUID will auto-generate by the system when the class is created, so leave this field blank. For the class ID, you will need to enter one for each class. Every different class will need to have their own class ID. In the Master Code column, enter the Teacher Edition Master Code. The Student Edition Master Code will automatically be added to the teacher's account. For steps on finding the master codes needed, refer to the Admin Tools Manage Products article. In addition to entering the master code, some content requires a resource code to be entered into the import to ensure students are assigned to the proper course, such as Alex and Redbird. This is a four-character code in addition to the 16-character master code. For additional information on locating the resource codes, refer to the Admin Tools Manage Products article. Finally, we'll go over the upload template process. Once your template file is complete, save the file in a location on your device that is easy to locate, such as your desktop. On the Import Users Rosters page, click the Choose File button and select the completed copy of the template from your computer. Click the Upload button. The page will automatically navigate to the Upload History page. Depending on how large the file is, the time will vary on the upload process. The status of your import will reflect its current stage of processing. Queued means that the import will be processed as soon as possible but has not yet started. In progress means that the import has started processing. Completed means that the import completed successfully. Completed with errors means that a portion of the import was unable to be processed. Failed means that none of the import was processed. To check the status of your import, click the Refresh button at the top right. Once the file has finished processing, you can click the kebab icon to download the uploaded file, completed file, and error file. The uploaded file is the exact file that you uploaded, minus account passwords if you included those on your original file. It's available so that you can access it later if needed. 
The completed file is a summary of all student, teacher, and class information that was processed successfully. The error file is a summary of the students, teachers, and or classes that did not process. It shows the rows that triggered the error and the specific reason why these rows failed in the error column on the far right. Refer to the Import Users Rosters Errors and Resolution Steps document for details on each error received and how to resolve them. For additional resources on the import process, refer to the Import Users Rosters Resources article listed below. This concludes our look at importing new users and rostering classes. Be sure to look at the other available help materials for more information about using your admin tools.